redbeardfestival.ca. Get your tickets now. Remember to spell beard like that. Damn it. Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching another Daily Drink vlog. Thank you so much for joining me for the beer of the today. We got something that I'm mildly apprehensive about. This is a can of the appearance of force. It's a sour stout by the Sawdust City Brewing Company in Gravenhurst, Ontario, coming in at 8.7% ABV. Um, yeah. Only other sour stout that I can recall ever having was at the first ever iteration of Funk Fest. Look at me with my Sawdust City shout out. Um, that happens every year at Sawdust City. I believe it's June something. End of June, beginning of July, somewhere in that area. Go to funkfest.ca, I believe, or .com and you'll find it pretty quickly. Regardless, they had a sour Russian Imperial stout that I was not even close to being a fan of. So... I don't know what to expect from this. Like, the Blood of Cthulhu is a tart kind of stout by these same guys, and it's one of my favorite beers in the world. So, my hopes are somewhat high. I just... A sour stout. Sam, the brewmaster at Sawdust City, usually makes, like, my favorite brewery in the world right here. They've made the highest number of beers that have blown my freaking mind hole. But Sam occasionally does some things that are freaking weird and they don't work for my taste buds. So let's crack this open and we'll find out which end of the spectrum this kind of falls into. Do I dare lick my hand? Oh, Christ. That... I feel like it's... Like, did they use Brett Namas or something? I got a weird, really weird kind of oddness off of that. Urgh. It's a stout. Looks like a stout. The head's way more. Kind of, I don't know if you get that pick up. Little snap, crackly, poppy. Light test. Bonk, bonk, bonk. That's a dark stout. That can't be denied. It's kind of cool. Um, It looks nice. The head very quickly dissipating, as you'd expect from a sour beer, but kind of tightly packed before I can see it right now. Like, you can see the black of the beer kind of appearing through the brown of this head. It's interesting. It smells like a lambic. Like a Flanders red kind of... What is that? Rodenbach or whatever? The red one? It smells very... Odd, like it, it. It would. That's not a stout smell. No, there's no. There's no. Nothing stouty about the aroma in this. I may, I may wait. Wait. A little bit of like underlying, maybe coffee or chocolate or something like that coming through. But the way it mixes with the rest of the aroma is mildly frightening. Let's give this a shot, shall we? first hit in your mouth, it really does come off as like one of those Flanders Lambic sour style beers. But then, that kind of mellows out and mixes in with like kind of a chocolatey, coffee, roasty thing. <clears throat> Sorry. It's not, it's not something that I don't think I'd want again at this point. First drink impressions kind of thing. But, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's super old. Uh, what does it say? December 13th of 2019. Currently February 26th of 2019. Uh, 2020, sorry. Blah. Um, so, it does say drink fresh, keep cold. I feel like a sour stout of that high ABV, this, this should still be pretty much on par with what it's supposed to taste like. It's not bad let's do this cheers everybody and cheers to all you wonderful bastards at Saw City yes yes Saw City 
hopefully one of the breweries that will be at the 2020 Red Beard Beer Festival happening here in North Bay on May 23rd of this year at the Granite Club. Redbeardfestival.ca. Get your tickets now. Remember to spell beard like that. Damn it. Hoping to have at least 15 breweries, a couple food trucks, um, other random activities and stuff. Northern experts will be there. So everyone that works for that company does have their smart serve and they are trained to, you know, not let hammered people throw axes, but it should be a pretty freaking good time. And I will be there in all my, not currently, but in my kilted glory. Actually, I don't think I could. One thing about this location, currently, because my computer screen's there, but if I was to sit like right here, splayed out, well, my kilt's long enough, it kind of folds in. I'd be okay, regardless. Whatever. Meh. SawdustCityBrewing.com will bring you to SawdustCityBrewing.com. I just did a order from them, and I it should be here tomorrow or the next day, I think. Looking forward to it. I don't. I think it was at least a two-four. I ordered. It was a lot of beer, but Sonic City has a thing. If you order enough beer, the shipping's free. So, anytime I do an order from them, I make sure I get to that level, and then I cut myself off. The sour presence is there a lot more than the stout presence. But one thing I can definitely give you a bunch of kudos on, Sam, is this has absolutely no indication at all, not even the slightest little inkling that it's 8.7% ABV. That is mad. That is something that you do with your beers beautifully i think the highest abv beer i've had from you guys was titania probably barrel aged i think uh <clears throat> long dark voyage i believe is the way that made that was done and yeah just astonishing astonishing you know you need to get to make some kind of series to compete with nickelbrook's bastard series because i really believe that you guys could do something like that and make it become like like everybody knows Nickel Brothers, Whiny Bastard, Kentucky Bastard, Cafe del Bastardo, and that stupid cuvee that nobody cares about. And then they have their variants, brewery only variants like Contiki Bastard and Wonky Bastard, both of which I've had. Both are very good. But I feel like you've got the ability to do stuff like that. Your barrel aging facility in the basement of the brewery could use a bit of kind of optimization I guess you could say but aside from that I think that would be really awesome little suggestion if you use that suggestion I want to be a collaboration partner on at least one of the bastard beers that you make well don't call them bastard we'll call them something else asshole beers I don't know I'm taking a break now I'm drinking this beer <laughs> this is a very very odd beer I think I said before, it's like a Lambic or like a Flanders Red kind of sour taste with this just finish of a, like a hint of stoutiness going on. It's very, very odd, but I'm not as opposed to it as I thought I would be when I first grabbed the can. Like I bought this at the brewery. I'm pretty sure if you or at the brewery, like, right now, maybe you can get it, but I think I think it's probably sold out. I think it was a very small batch. And randomly, while I was gone, talking in the chat with the beer guys, Chris from Off the Tenth, I put a picture of this beer in the uh, chat, and this, the appearance of Force, along with the appearance of Conflict, which are which is another beer that will be had soon, are lines from a Tragically Hip song. I didn't know that. I might alienate some people right now, but I'm I'm honestly not a huge Tragical Cape fan. I apologize if that makes anyone mad. I don't mind them, but I just 
they're just they're not not for me you know people have different tastes it's like just the way that things I like are quite often different um, why did this not load up there you go click on it thank you load 3.43 out of 5 on untapped with 103 ratings overall it's a uh, not a lot of ratings and we got some interesting wording an experimental beer pouring pitch black over a light tan head this bourbon barrel aged stout has aromas of tart cherry followed by a hint of oak tobacco and leather a tart acidity hits you on the first sip as flavors of roasted malt cherry cola and amaretto come at you in waves layered and complex the flavors develop as this sour stout warms into a medley of coffee oats and bourbon yeah, see, my palate sucks. You can grab a look at the ingredients on this thing. Which actually... Water, malt, hops, yeast, lactose. That is... And it is a bourbon barrel aged. I didn't realize that. It's bourbon barrel aged sour stout. I'm not getting any kind of bourbon off it. Although I haven't been looking for it. Like, here now that we have this right up... Let's see. What are we supposed to get here? It's warmed up. So medley of coffee oats and bourbon probably not if anything the sour aspect of it makes it seem like it was aged in wine barrels or something along that line i don't know it's it's very very weird that was my least favorite Sawdust City beer in a while. It might be. I, I don't hate it, but I, I, I would not buy another can of this, personally. If you are in the Gravenhurst area, I recommend you stop in, like I said. And if they still have some, grab one. Maybe grab two, whatever you want to do. If you don't like the first one, give the other one to someone else. But try it. Because that's my whole that's my whole shtick here. If I haven't tried it, I want to try it because it might seem like something I'm going to hate, but at the same time, who knows, I might love it. Like those two beers from Dan that I had recently, the uh, Eggnog Imperial Stout and the Peanut Butter and Jam Imperial Stout. Those were, they sounded interesting, and I'll try them, but they were not tasty in my mouth's opinion. Drink number the last Sawdust City Brewing. The appearance of force. Rating. Six. I, it, 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 it doesn't work for me overall. Again, I'm not hating it enough to bash this off the freaking table, but it just... Yeah. I've had so many beers from you guys that have been so much higher up on my mouth scale of things whatever you want to call it um if you've had this particular beer let me know in the comments what you thought of it because the video is now done if you liked it smash the thumbs up button in the face if you want to see more make sure you're subscribed if you're not bell notification blah, 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 blah. back with something like this tomorrow a peace out you said i got that sawdust city order coming in the mail I've got at least three beers in that beer mail that I believe are going to make this one look like crap, at least in my taste buds opinion. So I was going to knock it off the table, but I feel like it's not totally empty. I don't want to spill beer on my floor right now, so I'm not going to. And this is another Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you for so much. Thank you for so much. What the hell was that? People of the world, thank you. No, what the fuck am I doing? Jesus Christ. And this is another daily drink vlog. That was a weird way to say this.